Hi friends, it's Carl at Fiddler Shop. Hope you're all having a great week. Happy Thursday and it's nice to be here again with you today for Carl's Corner. I want to talk to you today a little bit about practice mutes for the violin. So maybe you have a neighbor uh, that you don't want to, you, uh, to hear you practicing at all hours of night. Uh, or maybe your family might not appreciate your violin practice as much as you do. So you kind of need to find a mute that's going to suit you, right? So there's a lot of questions uh, uh, surrounding mutes and which one might be the best for you. So today I've chosen three mutes to play for you today to kind of demo what they sound like. I've chosen a rubber mute, I've chosen a brass mute, and I've also chosen an iron mute. And all three of these serve different purposes, so I'll go through them one by one. All of these are available on the website uh, if you pull up violin practice mutes. I'm going to start with the rubber mute first. So here's what it looks like. Very simple looking. And all you would need to do, by the way, I'm playing on the Fiddler Man soloist violin. Let me play something for you first without any mute so that you'll get an idea of how loud this violin is without. So. In <laughs> It's a pretty loud sound. Uh, understandably, maybe a neighbor wouldn't want to hear that at 12.30 a.m. So here's what the first of the mutes is going to sound like, and this is the rubber mute. You simply take it and you fix it right to the top of the bridge and push it all the way down until it hits the top. This is going to take a fair amount of sound out of the violin. So as you'll hear... So it might take about 20 to 30% off of the sound. This isn't one that you would want to get if you really want to deaden the sound and make sure that it doesn't leave the room. This wouldn't be the one that you want. This is just a moderate mute, I would call it. Uh, so it still picks up pretty good tonal qualities after you put the mute on. Again, here's how it sounds. <laughs> definitely a difference, but maybe not the biggest difference, okay? Now we're going to go to the second of the two mutes that I'm going to be playing. This is the brass mute on the site. It's also available in either gold or in silver, and this will have the exact same tonal qualities for both of those models. So I'm going to show you. You're going to take this, and you'll put it the same right on top of the violin bridge, and you'll just kind of set it right on top. And here we have what it's going to sound like with this mute. So you can hear a huge difference between on and off. So now I'm going to take this off and play. And now we'll put it on again. So I would say this takes 60 to 70 percent out of the um, out of the volume of the instrument. So you can still very clearly hear it under your ear, but this isn't going to project out of the room. So this would be um, sort of the second in line um, in terms of mute power. Okay, now we're going to go to the third one, which is the iron mute. This would be my preferred mute to play if I was at home and I didn't want the sound to escape the room. This is a really well built mute. It's on the website. This would be the iron mute. Okay, you can see on both sides. And again, I'm going to play this before and after. So first, here's what the violin sounds like before. Now we'll pop this on. Same as the others, we're just going to pop it right on top of the bridge and push it down. So it's just a little bit more muted than the second mute, but I like the tone of this one a little bit better. It sounds really good under the ear. And you know, you could spend hours.
practicing no problem with this. Anything else that we can do for you, you can just reach out to us and let us know. But again, those three mutes are gonna be the rubber mute. Here's what that looks like one more time. Then we have the, uh, the uh, brass mute, which is number two. And then finally, we have the iron mute, which is number three. And all of them do serve a unique purpose. So I hope you guys are doing well out there. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.